Um, thank you very much. Um, our um, next speaker is Daniel Grun, um, who teaches at the um, Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. Uh, he also conducts research at the Institute of Art History um, at the Slovak Academy of Sciences. He's in charge of the Julius Koller Society and lives and works in Bratislava as an art historian, a curator, and writer. Um, he completed his PhD in 2009, which was on the subject of art criticism in uh, 1960s Czechoslovakia. He, among his um, curated exhibitions, was the first international retrospective, Julius Koller, the one-man anti-show. And he's been writing on artists' archives, self-historicization, and the legacy of the neo-avant-garde. Yeah, thank you, Clara, for your introduction. Uh, thank you, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, and thank, thanks to, to Julia and George, I, I was really uh, happy to research uh, in, in art, Artful Archives and to get materials for projects that I did. Um, for this paper, uh, um, this paper was uh, written as, as one of the, out, of the outcomes from work I did uh, for uh, uh, book for the book on Stano Filko, initiated by uh, the contact collection in Vienna to be published uh, hopefully this year. Uh, the thesis that I will present today are based on uh, comparative research in the personal archives of several artists and institutions. Uh, I will touch uh, the problem of discrepancy between the history and self-historicization uh, of the artist on the example of the work of Stano Filko. This discrepancy could also be understood uh, as something uh, productive and produced uh, by creative rewriting uh, made by use of renaming and antedating works uh, and uh, situating them into artists' self-interpretative system. But first, uh, let's take a closer look uh, at, the, at the origin and development of the project titled White Space in White Space, for which Stano Filko was one of the, in, one of the initiators. Uh, on uh, February 18, 1974, for a single day and night only, the first exhibition of White Space in White Space in Dum Umnění House of Arts in Brno, today Czech Republic, was held in cooperation with uh, the curator Iri Valoch. Uh, the exhibition space, uh, located on the first floor of what was originally a secession building uh, and later uh, uh, reconstructed uh, in a style of, uh, in functionalist style, by Bohuslav Fuchs. Uh, probably because uh, of the insufficiency of light uh, during the short February days, the ceiling uh, a panel lighting was used. In, it appears that the documentation of the exhibition really was done in the late hours uh, of the night for fear of an ins inspection since the end, uh, since the event was not listed in the official program of exhibitions. Apart from, arti from, the, uh, from the artists, the curator, and the professional photographer, uh, there was uh, no other public present. Entering the central hall, one, could, one can immediately notice uh, the, the whiteness uh, of linen canvases, a number of meters long and white, whiter than the walls themselves. The canvases uh, on which one could immediately detect marks of regular folding are laid, laid out along the walls, hung from the ceiling and unrolled from, uh, upon the floor. Uh, on the canvases, uh, at a defined distance from the margin, an undifferentiated field of white synthetic paint called latex spreads out, applied without any signs whatever of an artistic signature of manual gesture or manual gesture. Looking at photograph of the three artists, from left Miloš Laki, Stano Filko, and Jan Zavarsky, 
who declared the collective authorship of this deep, deep personalized gesture, declaring its super subjectivity. They appear co considerably minor to a white band of white paint on a white uh, canvas about them, about them. For further photos documenting the project, artists use, used uh, other accessible professional exhibition spaces without having any possibility to interact with publicity. It follows uh, uh, from this that, the, that in, the, in the individual stages of their achievement, artists uh, made use of professional exhibition spaces because they thought of them as stage sets, uh, specific places for the emergence of specific temporary installations, even though these were not accessible to public. Use uh, of the photograph as a means of communication uh, has its uh, premise in, in the conceptual works of all three artists, who, uh, whether uh, in, Phil, in Stano Filko's solo work or in the joint production of Lucky and Zavarsky. For Stano Filko, uh, in the late 60s, photography was a carrier of information and a link of cosmic imagination uh, with uh, the surrounding reality of consumption, science, and technology. Uh, he had already begun to use the photograph in his collaboration with Alex Mirarchik uh, in the first uh, edition of Hapsots in 1965. And later, later also he used photography uh, again in associations, um, this series you see at the moment. Uh, a research team uh, composed in 1971-73 of artists and scientists, including Phil Kolaki and Zavarsky, was to apply scientific knowledge, especially from geophysics and mathematics, into the creation of futurological projects. For Time One, 1973, uh, offset print, um, a natural uh, underground space of uh, the caves in Moravian cars became, became a venue that stimulated the conceptual propositions for site-specific works. The three artists left the research team in order to initiate a different kind of collect collective work. Um, while they uh, were still students, Miloš Laki and Jan Zavarsky formed an artistic duo and be uh, began to, concentra uh, to create uh, conceptual works uh, based on uh, analysis of the photographic image in relation to the real measure of the depicted space. In a series of photographs called Anthropometric measurements, 1972-73, the artists uh, used uh, juxtaposition of two shots, uh, one under the uh, another. Uh, on a mildly elongated uh, background uh, with a busy city street, there are two hands holding a paper maquette in, uh, in um, uh, some regular format with a tape measure on a scale of one to 22 centimeters uh, on the upper part. The market deceives the viewer by squeezing the entire street scene into an ex uh, excision of 22 centimeters long. Um, a comparison could be made with uh, American artist Mel Bochner and his work Actual Size, uh, Hand and Face, produced 1968. Uh, the, uh, the works, the, um, uh, Mel Bochner was, uh, was uh, at the time developing uh, analytical uh, means of measurement so as to explore different means of representation and disturb uh, their standard of reality, of, real, uh, of reliability uh, on recognition. By almost identical analytic means, Lucky and Zav Zavarsky explored photographic depiction in relation to the space of the street. They confront a measuring scale with people in the everyday world, world of the city so as to pose the question of the verification of truth as the objectivizing system of representation. The photograph uh, to which the artist do, uh, gave due attention also had a, a specific function for white space in white space project. It not only uh, captures the process of emergence of individual stages uh, titled uh, or subtitled sensibility and sensitivity, but uh, equally records their situation in space and interaction with the space of the, uh, gallery, of the gallery's white cube. 
Furthermore, the actual photographic documentation where the authors uh, of the photographs are not mentioned served for a postal and personal distribution of a catalog containing a rep reproduction of these uh, photographs via the channels and webs of the art, uh, artist networks. On, uh, on the other hand, the purpose of re recording the, the scene in the white cube environment uh, concedes uh, to the role of communicative medium to the photograph, but deprives it, deprives it uh, of the status uh, of the final work, which is shifted to the object, the painting, in the special uh, installation. The non-public exhibition in Brno's uh, House of Art, uh, which originally had only few direct witnesses, was an uncommon event, and not only, not only because of its uh, exceptionally high level of material production uh, and the professional quality of photographic documentation. Likewise, the anabasis, the anabasis of the project, its, entire, its entry into the world of art occurred only after a critical analysis, reduction process, and abstraction of non-essential components in association with the com uh, conceptually focused works based on photography by Stanofilko and Telaki Zawarski. Exploring uh, the philosophical, poetic, and spiritual associations uh, of white monochrome painting uh, since uh, the early 20th century that culminated in the in late 50s and early 60s have been uh, inscribed into Western canon of art. Here it would not be sufficient to interpret the work solely uh, from the point of formal analysis uh, uh, even uh, there are obvious links to monochrome painting, such as the use uh, of, uh, mon uh, of non-color, unconventional formats, non-painterly uh, materials and techniques. To situate white space in white space, from behind the Iron, cur the iron Curtain, part of which was the western frontier of Czechoslovakia, in an international artistic context, to write it into the story of avant-garde modernism, carrying over into the, di into the dynamic of uh, present time, that was the prime ambition of Stano Filko, who was registering success abroad already in the end of, in the end of 60s. Purpose purposefully building a system that opened up to an unrestricted variability, the authors attempted distribution of the project by self-help at their, non, at their own uh, expense, they self-published a catalog uh, in the form of a fold, uh, folder, including a manifesto uh, titled, um, white, titled White Non-Material Space in a Pure White Infinite Space, photographic documentation of the exhibition and an, an accompanying essay by the curator. The manifesto signed jointly, jointly by Phil Kolaki and Zavarsky is an independent artistic text and hence it is neither a description nor an explanation of the artistic realization of spatial installations. Manifesto obviously set up a polemic with contemporary avant-garde modernism. Uh, right in the, in the number one point of the, of the manifesto, artists distance themselves from art of object environment, conceptualism, hyperrealism, abstract art, and minimal art. The language and terms used in the manifesto determine the coordinates within which the reader and the viewer can move freely. It is movement characterized by delimit delimitations vis-a-vis -vis all kinds of contemporary avant-garde modernism and a uh, profession to, of uh, allegiance to pure sensibility and pure art. A crucial point uh, of, the, of the manifesto is number nine, where the authors declare, via pure sensibility, we are creating an infinite void. Alongside the manifestos, uh, the project's realization was uh, uh, accompanied by a number of noteworthy texts published in catalogs, in magazines, and also in Samizdat. Their authors were at the time important representatives of Czech, Slovak, Hungarian, uh, and Yugoslavian arts criticism. Iži Valoch, Tomáš Strauss, Laszlo Beke, Grzegorz uh, Stabinski, and Diesha de Negri, whose interests were concentrated around new tendencies. 
uh, in our new art practices. Uh, reading those uh, texts make it perfectly clear to us uh, that uh, white space in white space was not accepted uh, in an unambiguously positive spirit, and that is uh, that and that it naturally provoked controversy. Uh, in an unpublished text, which uh, is a kind of counter manifesto, uh, the painter and conceptual artist Julius Koller joined the polemic. Koller uh, titled his manu manuscript The Fiction of a Space That De Facto Does Not Exist, uh, where he logically ref refuted all of the points of the manifesto. Uh, very shortly, non material space, according to, according to Koller, did not exist. Uh, in the practice of visual art, uh, given that space uh, means distances in material relations and the infinity of space is questionable and relative. Furthermore, to designate two kinds of white surfaces, the canvas and the painting as spaces, is untruthful. I quote, uh, if the so-called uh, free, purely sensitive thinking moves in immaterial space, then afterwards it does not need material space and it also should not use material printing and other productive materials. Uh, end of quote. Uh, this was Julius Koller. Um, the tension, uh, uh, the col uh, uh, it is uh, extremely difficult, uh, Koller continues, uh, to evoke categories such as boundless expansiveness, the infinite from, from two surfaces uh, upon the order, uh, the, uh, upon the other, uh, even if we uh, grandly call them spaces. Uh, Kohler is convinced that their method of work is uh, inc incongruities and paradoxes as a, ps a pseudo system of chaos rather than the proclaimed pure sensibility uh, represented by the materials of, of modern visual art activity. Uh, doubts about the authenticity of white space in white space were not confined only to Julius Koller. They were also expressed by the, by the critics uh, like Laszlo Becke and Thomas Strauss in their texts for the catalog published uh, in the occasion of the exhibition uh, Mm, that took place in the Young Artists Club in Budapest. Um, okay, uh, in relation to the initi initiative by Phil Kolaki and Zavarsky, it is important to uh, to recall um, Malevich, which uh, I have. Sorry, this one, yeah. Uh, comparison of Malevich white on white uh, to white space in white space recall, uh, re reveals uh, that the latter produced the space gradually and changing in time of almost one decade. In a certain sense, white might speak uh, of a processual and performative dimension of a, sur of a surface unfolded to the infinite uh, by coherent individual stages, sensibility, sensitivity, emotion, and transcendence. So I skip one part so that I do not exceed the limit. And uh, I conclude with uh, um, uh, I go back to the initial uh, thesis on, uh, on um, self-documentation or self-historicization. When Stano Filko in the 1990s, I have too many slides, sorry. Uh, yes, this one. When Stano Filko in the 1990s, after returning to Slovakia from his emigration in the, in the USA, worked on the reconstruction of his studio on Sneženkova Street in Bratislava, he divided the structural space that emerged into five basic thematic sections determined by color symbolism of chakras. Uh, he also uh, in introduced his system uh, into a self-historicization self -historicization strategy, which being synchronic uh, is essentially counter-chronological. 
From a perspective of Stanofilco in the 90s and zero years, uh, the project fully appears embedded in his self-describing system of mental architecture. So white space in white space, changes in time uh, are uh, contained in stages uh, of advance from perception to spirituality and ultimately to transcendence. On the level of production and engineered autom uh, automation of performance is applied, uh, directed by the discipline of repeated, uh, repeating uh, white stripes of paint on various surfaces, which does not lead uh, in each case to an identical result, but rather to, um, uh, to unseas in unceasing instability, differences, and alternations. Hence, ultimately, to existential reflex reflection, to subjectivism, subject subjectivism and individuality. It is unstable and dynamic. The, inst the instability of white space in white space means that uh, within it there is inattention, non-determination, spontaneity, and freedom. The freedom of the, of the infinite, uh, infinite white space leads uh, perception to a point where white uh, detours, uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, uh, divorce our senses and brings it brings its viewer to a state to a state of trance. Um, just very briefly, uh, I would like to uh, mention the um, uh, the changing of uh, that, that Stanofilko in his uh, work uh, constantly. Uh, re reworked the, the initial phases and also antedated the, the works, uh, which, which led to uh, complete uh, confusions for art historians. But at the same time, he kept uh, uh, the project uh, alive in his uh, very authentic, uh, self-describing uh, and uh, self-interpretative uh, system. Thank you. <laughs>